Hello, amazing students of the Bronx Community College Early Childhood Center. Hello. So good to see you once again. My name is Mr. Andy. I am your puppetry teacher, and we are going to continue our journey talking about water and puppetry today. Can you remind me, where do we find water? Yes. Yes, you're right. You could find it in your sinks, in your houses, like in your kitchen or in your bathroom. Very good. Did somebody say the refrigerator? <laughs> yes, you can get water out of your refrigerator if you have it. Like if you have one of those fancy refrigerators that you can press and put your cup up to and you can get water out of it, that's incredible. But you can also maybe store water in a bottle in your refrigerator. Very good. Where else? Ooh, yeah, the toilet. P-U. Oh, oh. oh. Where else do we find water? You said in a lake? Yes, and a river, in oceans, and, oh, I love this one, rain. Everybody, let's make it rain with our fingers. Ooh, very good. Rain, and what does rain make? Puddles, that's right. Well, in this book that I want to show you today, there's a lot of puddles and a lot of rain. It's called Float. It's such a pretty book. And this book is really, really great because it doesn't, it's actually kind of special because it doesn't have words. It's just pictures. So you have to look really closely and let the pictures tell you the story. All right? So everybody sit back, relax, and listen to the beautiful music, I should say, play as I flip the pages of this book. Thank you. 
beautiful book <laughs> very good what did what did the boy make out of the newspaper did somebody say a boat yes and what did the boy play with outside in the rain yes the boat good job and how did the boy's boat get into the river yep yep Yep, the wind and the storm took it away, and then it went down into that drain, and then the drain went out into the river. Oh, it's so sad, you guys. Ugh. So, and how did the boy feel when his boat was wrecked in the river? Yeah, I just said it. He was sad. I was sad. Oh, you guys, but let's be happy. Let's talk about what we're going to make today. We're going to make a boat like this. Do -do. The boat's in the video are in i should say the books and the, the the books the boats in the book are really difficult to make and i can share a link and show you how to make them but i thought well look here's some waves <laughs> look at this puffer tree i thought it would be fun to make boats that were easy and we can make waves too isn't that cool it's just paper paper markers scissors you can make this really cool boat all right, my friends, meet me in the puppet making room and we will make some boats. All right, my friends, here's what you need to make your boat puppet and waves. You need two pieces of paper. Hey, two pieces. One, two, one, two. You need a glue stick. You need scissors. You need blue markers to make water. And you need some colors to make your boat. Woohoo! All right, let's start. Let's start by making the shape of our boat. Can anybody tell me what shape is this boat? Yes, a semicircle. That's right, it's half a circle. So I'm going to flip my paper like this so I can use my whole paper. I'm going to start off by drawing. A semicircle. Oh yeah, look at that. There's my boat. Awesome. And then, what shape is the sail of my boat? Yes, a triangle. Very good. So now I'm just going to draw a big triangle up here. And that's going to be my sail for my boat. Oh, cool. Very good. And if you want to make a little flag like that on the top, 
just just take and draw a triangle like that on the side of the paper. That can be your flag. Cool. Now it's time to color your boat. Ready? Go. Awesome. Now what we want to do is we want to make some waves for our boat. Before we cut out our boat, let's make some waves. So I'm going to take my other piece of paper, I'm going to flip it sideways, and look, I'm just going to draw some waves like this. Oh, how cool. And then I can just color that in blue. I can put some blue in there. It's okay to have some white. Look at that. It's starting to look like waves. Look at all that movement. Wow, I'm going to take another color blue, and I'm going to do the same thing. Oh, yes, 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 yes. And then take my other color blue, I'm going to do the same thing. Very cool. Good deal. Now, before we cut everything out, I need to make one little thing. I need to make, it's called a mast. And a mast is what keeps your boat sail up in the air so just cut a rectangle like that and put it over here to the side great now we're ready to cut out our boat or actually our waves let's start with our waves first so cut out your waves very good very good cutting out the waves Let's cut out our boat. All right. Cut out your boat. There's the body of my boat, big part of my boat, the floaty part of the boat. Very cool. There it is. Now we need our sail. We need a sail for our boat. Here it is. Let's cut out our triangle. saying this is going to be the mast of your boat it's going to keep your your sail up just take your glue stick put some glue in the middle and glue your mast to your boat like that and then put some glue down the middle of your sail and glue it to your mast like that and then check it out my boat is ready to float Woohoo! Look at my boat on my waves. That's so cool. Yeah. Oh, you know what? Look, Mr. Andy, you forgot your little flag. You need to put the flag on. So put some glue up there and put your flag on top. Yay! There, now it looks like a proper boat, doesn't it? Good job. All right, here we go. Whoa! <laughs> awesome. All right, so now that you have your boat, you can puppeteer your boat on your waves like this. Whoa! It's a rough, stormy sea. Whoa! <laughs> Did a little jump. Woo! Cool. Now, in the book, float. They made a boat out of newspaper, and the technique that they use is a Japanese technique from Japan called origami. And I made one of the boats. I read the instructions on the inside of the book, and I made this origami boat. And what's really cool is they actually float. They're really cool. So you can fill your bathtub when you're taking a bath, and you can put it in your bath and, like, make it float. I guarantee they float. It's really cool. So these are kind of tough. They're kind of difficult to make. So I'm going to give you a video. Uh, I'm going to put one right here 
and you can watch how to make your own origami boat. You might need some grown-up help, but they're really cool. All right, here we go. Here's this video. <laughs> Awesome. All right, my friends, you guys are incredible, and I will see you next time. All right. Mm -hmm.